Welcome to the show. Today we're going to talk about bipolar disorder. Do you know what that is? Did you know 46 million people in the world suffer from bipolar? And the majority are women. Bipolar is a very serious disorder. When we come back after the video, we're going to talk about bipolar in details. Stay tuned. Living with bipolar disorder. It's like having good days and bad days. Except it happens all the time. Sometimes I can hardly wake myself up. And the dumbest things frustrate me. I ignore people who are important to me. Sometimes I throw up my meds and I go nuts. It's so damn hard. But sometimes I have the good days, and I learn to appreciate them a little more. Sometimes I wake up on the right side of the bed, and I want to go out and be normal for once. Because in the end, I'm just like everybody else. I can still feel. I can still relate. I can still love. I'm still a person. And I still matter. Welcome back. So what did you think? What did you think about the person suffering from bipolar? Can you resonate with those symptoms? Do you know someone that resonates with those symptoms? Do you know a lot of times bipolar disorder is very misdiagnosed? Sometimes it's misdiagnosed with personality disorders. Sometimes it's misdiagnosed with depression. A lot of times people have to go to two or three clinicians before they can even probably be diagnosed. You might ask me why is it so important that they could be properly diagnosed because the proper diagnosis gives you the proper treatment. This is something that requires long-term treatment. Do you ever feel like you have a lot of highs and then a lot of lows? Do you feel like the person on the video where sometimes you just want to sleep and sometimes you have excess energy? A lot of times bipolars, you'll notice whenever they're in a manic stage, they're very hyperverbal and they talk and they have major ideas and they're so full of energy and actually they have a lot of ideas and dreams 
and sometimes they could also have psychotic breakdown where they're imagining many things and want to do a lot of things and they're hearing voices and that's why bipolar could be a psychotic disorder. The idea of this is that this energy, the excessive energy could be misguided. Why does bipolar need treatment? Because this manic episode where someone has excess energy can get them to behave in behaviors that are not appropriate. For example, shopping a lot, excessive energy where they are meeting different type of people all the time, where they're only sleeping four hours and they think that they have a lot of energy so they're out from the morning, they can't sleep at night so they'll be cleaning or organizing or planning. They're the type of people that might call you in the middle of the night because they've already had enough energy to be able to go out. But then after one week, and sometimes these cycles are rapid where they are sleeping most of the time. You call them, they're ignoring you. They don't want to do anything with you. And especially if you have a partner, for example, a business partner where they've got all these plans for you and then they don't return your phone call. They just want to be left alone. All of these things are part of bipolar. Now, when we come back, I'll talk briefly about what you should do if you are bipolar, because this is something we cannot let away. We cannot not treat it. It is important. When I come back, we'll talk a little bit more about bipolar. Welcome back. So did you think about it? Do you have some of the symptoms for bipolar? Of course now, a lot of times people misdiagnose bipolar with depression and most of the time they'll give it major depression, especially if you go to the doctor where you don't discuss any of your manic or cycles. Now, you really need someone that's very qualified in diagnosing it. There are a lot of these tests that we give to individuals that we can kind of assess if someone has bipolar. It is important that you know and the diagnosis is correct because bipolar disorder, there are different types. There's hypomania, there's bipolar one, there's bipolar two. And of course, each one of them have different symptoms. What I wanna spend more time on actually is to be able to let you know if you're thinking you might be or you know someone that is close to you that might have these kind of rapid cycling, you need to get them help. Now with bipolar, you need medication and you need psychotherapy. Now you might wanna to say to me, well, I don't like medication, because lots of people say to me, why do I need to get medication when I'm bipolar? Because part of your manic uh, episodes and depression has a lot to do with transmitters that are low in your brain. So if your serotonin is low or norepinephrine is low, it doesn't matter how much psychotherapy I can give you. You still need to replace these neurotransmitters. And the only way to really do that is with medication. Now, medication is one way. You know, psychotherapy is another way. But also the way your diet is and exercising is very important. It seems to me that a lot of people really misunderstand the need for exercise. Exercise is not just about losing weight. It can give you endorphins. Some of the things that you really need to get your energy. I know that if you're bipolar and the days where you have very low, you're not gonna have even the feeling of wanting to get out of bed, nevertheless, to be able to exercise. The most important for bipolars, A, to know their triggers. Because if you're going off on things that are very, very minute, if you're getting angry and your anger outburst is out of hand, if you are either sleeping a lot or not sleeping enough, and your friends and family are noticing these mood swings, you do need to get help. Without this medication and without psychotherapy, without proper nutrition and diet, you're never gonna be able to stabilize your life. Remember, it is important to take care of ourselves. And one way to do that is to get the treatment as fast as we can. I want to thank you for being with us and remember on this show we like to keep it positive. Mm -hmm.